Hi, I'm David and welcome to LeisureBit. And today we're going to fit some securing screws here, here, and then a couple at the other end, just to make sure this panel stays nice and secure on the Eldis or Compass CV camper van. So let's take a look. So when I got the camper van, there was actually four holes drilled, uh, which were really convenient for actually securing this panel because it's actually stuck on, but it was flapping a little bit and rattling when it was driving along. And ultimately I'm going to fit a handle somewhere around here, um, but we'll do that in a separate video. But what I wanted to do was just make sure this was nice and securely fastened at both ends so that there was no risk of this trim panel coming off. So. As we go through the video, you'll see I use some screws and some screw caps. I'll pop a link in the description on where to get hold of those. You can, of course, always take it back to your dealer, but it was one of those simple jobs. It took me probably 20 minutes, half an hour maximum to actually finish the job. The hardest bit was actually getting into the awkward bits at the other end of the uh, door because there's not so much space, but I managed to get some screwdrivers just little ones to get in there and it was super helpful that the holes were already drilled so it fit in nicely there and managed to secure that nice and tightly now. So let's take a look. So I'm just doing some work just to do a couple of mods just to tidy up and make sure this side panel on the door stays on all right. I've already put one of the screws in at the top. There was already a pre-drilled hole but it was flapping around, I thought I'd better put some screws in it and some caps. So let me show you what I've used for that. So I've used some 4.2 millimeters by 25 millimeters self drilling screws and the screw caps, which roughly match the trim panel. And I'll pop a link in the description so you can see where you can get hold of those. Now I'm just going to pop the screws in the end. Uh, I got this screwdriver from Amazon. Uh, it's just a little interchangeable one, but it gives you enough room to get in there. I'll pop a link in the description below. I just pre-prepared the screw there, just putting the little cap on. So let's have a go at that now. So I'm just going to hand tighten the screw first, just move that in a little bit, quite fiddly to get in, you can probably see there, just zoom in a little bit, well, let's continue on, it's now going to move that along a little bit so I can get the screwdriver in, it's a little bit awkward and there we go that's the screw tightened up but not too tight so it won't fit in hopefully you can see that there and now I'm just going to pop the cap on just literally press it on and then clip it on to make sure that's on prop so there we go, there's the top one in. Really, really helpful that the holes are already drilled there. Um, as it went in, no problem. I had to use a slightly smaller screwdriver, um, that one if you can see it, that came in the uh, set. But that did it perfectly because it gave a lot more space to move with. So now just need to pop the screw cap on. So there's one on the top right, two on the bottom right, and then the other two are further down there. You can't quite see them now, but we looked as we went through. So there we go, fixing the door fixings on so that the door trim doesn't drop off. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I hope it comes in handy for you. Again, if you don't fancy doing it yourselves, I'm sure you can get that done under the warranty, but it was a nice, easy job, not an expensive job to sort and didn't take too long. Thank you for watching, you take care and I'll catch you next time, bye!